Welcome back. In the previous part, we discovered that there's actually a green diamond quest here. Hesperia's ambition. Right here in the conference room. It explains why we can go into this conference room. But anyway, let's start it up and see what we got. Oh, can I help you? Unfortunately, I'm in the midst of something right now. If it's not urgent, please leave. Mr. Shul, how are your injuries? Huh? You came just to ask that? I can quite say, and I can't quite say, I'm fully recovered yet, but luckily that has no bearing on my ability to do my job. Thank you for taking the time to visit me. You know, it's strange, like, his sprite off to the left doesn't really feel like it matches too well with his 3D model. Like his attitude, I think, is that like, isn't conveyed in his 3D model well. You guys are still working despite everything. I was like, Ray Raven, I think she works. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just, it almost feels like the guy on the right is an imitation. Whereas Raven feels like Raven. And I like Raven's design. Like, look at that. I, I like what she, what's going on with her hair. It's just, just some nice detail in there. Anyway, of course, Mr. Shul, at any given time, puts Hesperia's growth and future at his priority. Isn't Hesperia just a cover for Elysium? That's quite the rude question. But it's true though, right? Did you really think Hesperia could become the corporate giant it is today just by being a really good front? Yes. The incredible success we are enjoying to this day is all due to Mr. Shul's efforts. That's enough, Raven. You can't blame them for thinking what they did. How should I say this? Though we are truly Elysium, it's irrelevant to our desire to run a serious company in the human realm. So long as you have a stable position and income in the human realm, you can do anything. It's all quite convenient. You all run a convenience store as a cover in Zimending to watch over Yushengding, right? No? No, oh, where'd you get that idea? It's uh, more like one of Boss's personal hobbies. I just, part of me was like, that was the quest? Like, no, no, no. Since you are here, please take these redevelopment project papers to Zimending's Neighborhood Association leader when you return. I haven't given up on the uh, corporate buyouts, sir. When we first began purchasing stores, it was to install the Dragon Vein interference device. At this point, there's no need to buy any more, but for Hesperia, helping to develop Zim and Ding doesn't seem to be a bad idea. So aside from our buyouts, we will proceed with our plans. It's not a bad deal for you all either. Let us build a win-win relationship. Sheesh, I should have expected the CIO, uh, C CIO, CIO, yeah, it's IO now. CEO of Hesperia would be so cunning. May's the association representative, right? Hmm, if it's good for Zim and Ding's development, then I'll help. Indeed, it's just whether or not it is. You, you guys are far too accepting of like, well, alright then. If you're trying to help, then that's fine. It's like, it's... Again, because of that idea of like, I don't feel like they've developed the villains enough. Like, that, it's very much... Towards the back end, it's like, it's like we're just suddenly working with them, like for the greater good. It's like, uh, that feels a bit strange to me. A bit strange. Again, I imagine it's a small studio, so like, there's only so much you they can do. So it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll give them like, like a, a slightly, a bit of a pass on that kind of thing. It's like, this is why I want to go from more the angle of like, I like what they're doing. I want to see what they can do further from this. I see potential. That's what I'm getting. A lot, a lot from their stuff in this is like, it's potential I'm seeing. It's like, yes, good, 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 good. Again, it's that sort of thing. Like I, cha I change my views depending on the size of the company, who the company is. Like, if, if say, say this was a Square Enix game or an Atlas game, it, I'd be more harsh. I'd be like, no, you have the money, the people, it should have been better. Whereas because this seems to be a relatively smaller company it's that opposite way of like no you've got to adjust these things really haven't you like, like you've got to just like reviews and that kind of idea based on the size of the company who the people are what they've done that kind of thing it's like no because of who they are it's like yes I see potential here I see them getting better in the future kind of things like, I want 
them to succeed. I want them to fulfill a great, a greater idea that like they've got ideas here. It's like do more, do more, please more. Like yes, that's what I see here. A lot of potential. But again, if it was an Atlas game, we'd be like, eh. welcome. What would you like? The sugar apples are just ripe. Huh? Where's May? Ah, yeah, you wanted to see May. She went to make a delivery in Dadocheng, so I'm filling in. Got it. Thank you very much. It's like how I am with trails. Like, tra trails, it's like the storytelling is amazing. Absolutely a dove that. A dove that? Uh, but yeah. I, I think I read Dadocheng at the same time. But yeah, I, I absolutely ad adore that. Adore. It's like that's what I was trying to go for. Um, anyway, point being. I wish the game's graphics were better in Trails, I really do. But the size of the company and how much resources they have, it's like, well, you take that into account, it looks really good. It's not the best thing ever or anything like that, but it's like, no, for for what they are, that's what it's what you have to do. You have to have to sort of like look at it from that kind of point of view, otherwise it's just not fair. It's not fair. You can't treat them like huge companies. So it's like, again, here it's like, no. The appropriate level is I see potential. Please more. Oh, hello. Me? What's wrong? Ah, thank goodness you're all here. Yeah, I mean, um, you're kind of... What's the best way to put it? Surrounded? Might be the key word. These people are acting kind of strange. Yeah, there might be a reason for that. I made my delivery to that store over there. And when I came out, they just surrounded me. Leave it to us. We'll clean this mess up for you. What mess? Uh, right. Uh, so, lots of drunks started coming by the store making a huge racket, and Leo just... is just going to scare them to sober them up some. That's a good cover, isn't it, when you think about it? It's like, that's nice and logical. Maybe it's better to call the police. Hmm. Uh, hmm. No need, and Leo's got it. Really? If you say so, but be careful. Don't worry. We're used to this kind of thing. Indeed we are. Let's get you guys first. You <laughs> I was thinking, uh, let's throw up the damage one. See that? It's like I can see that coming. And I just wanted to dodge as he was swinging. It's like, nope, I was mid skill, so it doesn't work that way. It's like, oh. I mean, from what people have told me about the first game, it's like, this is an improvement in terms of gameplay at least. Compared to the first one. So it's like, yeah, they're making progress. It's like, yeah, I want to just die for free. That's where I'm at. May. Ah, Yumo. Are you alright? You're not hurt? I'm fine. I told you, we you used to that, that stuff. Well, that's good. You really saved me. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Oh, here. Read development papers from Hesperia. Oh, thanks for going to the trouble. Hesperia's redevelopment project is a great opportunity for Zimending's development. So I'll do my best to get a good deal. You're so great. Zimmerding's future is on you. <laughs> I'll do my best for everyone's sake in the district. That's the word, district. Bitter team. Not a fan of bitter team. Oh, welcome back, everyone. In the previous... Uh, how was your trip? Yeah, Mr. Shul's just full of energy. And already working. We had to run errands for them. So long as they're fine, we will need their help soon. We can't hope to stop Van Dick on our own. 
Well, in times like these, the enemy of our enemy is our friend. I just don't get Kunlun's plan. Regarding Elysium, the military handles them directly. It's no matter to ordinary Kunlunians. If the commander hadn't used Typhon against them, perhaps Van Dyck wouldn't have gotten his chance. As for Van Dyck, I don't know what he's trying to do. Even now, I can't see what the higher-ups in Kunlun are thinking. I never doubted her, but Professor wanted to live in the human realm. Was she onto something? We can ask her when she comes back. The only thing we can do now is prevent a disaster. Right. I'll ask Professor next time I, I see her. Now, let me help adjust everyone's equipment. Yeah, we're counting on you. Just wait. We'll definitely bring Boss back. I was going to say, like, it feels like that's the end of the quest, but it's placed me here. Ooh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Just feels strange. So we'll start, obviously, with, with another one. Straight away. It's like... Just sensible. Um, let's actually give that to you. Well, give that to us, but it's like, so we want to get that up a little bit there. I want to try and get his power up. Like, stamina's the one where it's like, I don't feel like that I've not seen a need for it. It's like, hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Right, so let's see about you. We'll, we'll leave Leo's till what last. So, Didi's breakdown. Hey, Didi. What? If you're free, can we talk a little? Sure. Awesome. Well then, how about we take a breather and go grab some bubble tea to drink? Bubble tea. <laughs> Do you not know about bubble tea? No. Well, now we have to go for your first time. Penland Coffee is nearby, so let's go. At least we're getting tea at the coffee shop, I suppose. See, I have no like, like, I have no issues with coffee shops as long as they prepare tea correctly, which is in a bloody kettle. Why is there two areas? Like main quest, main quest. Like that feels strange. Anyway, yes, yeah, like it's it's when 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 coffee shops try and make tea with their coffee machines, that's when I have an issue, because it's like, it doesn't get the water to the right temperature to really make a good tea. It makes a really good coffee. That's the issue. That's an actual issue I have with coffee shops. It's like, this is separate to my joke, like, ugh, coffee, blah, 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 you know, how I am. The joke, the joke one. This is the serious one, where it's very much like, coffee shops, you need to boil water to 100 degrees Celsius for tea. Yes, I know that's bad for coffee. But if you want to make a good tea, you need a kettle. Very simple. You just flick a switch, boom, boils water. Job done. Oh dear. Welcome. What would you like today? Um, two bubble milk teas, please. Alright. Please wait a moment. Thank you for waiting. Two bubble milk teas. So this is bubble tea. What do you think? First impressions. Very strange texture. It's a flavor I've never had back home. Very delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. Hey, Didi. You seem like you've been on your own for a while. Why do you want to help us? Oh, well. True, for a long time I've been fighting alone, so I've gotten used to it. See, this, to me, this feels like Dee Dee is a character. Like, she's not been developed too much in this game. But it feels like they're almost potentially setting up for Dee Dee to be, like, the protagonist of the third one? Maybe? I'd hope. That's why I didn't want to get too involved with you guys. Why the sudden change of heart? Well, one day I just felt this change of heart, like someone had gone into my palace? I don't know what that means, but... Because... We have the same goal. The opponent we are fighting is frustrating, but I cannot beat him on my own. Thinking about increasing the chance of success, it made sense to team up with you all. Also, after watching you all for some time, I figured you were all trustworthy. That's why I'm willing to help. 
But if you aren't comfortable with me being here, I can leave. No, uh, don't misunderstand. We're really glad to have you fighting alongside with us. You said that we have the same goals. You're talking about Typhon and Van Dyck, right? Why are you chasing after them? Triple Dot. Yeah, sorry if you're not comfortable talking about it. I don't want to pressure you. Yeah, let's end the conversation here. Let's just enjoy our bubble teas for now. When we're done, why don't we hang out for a bit? So cool. What? What go What going on? What going on? Where? I don't know who you're cosplaying, but the attention to detail is so awesome. White-haired lady. Can I take a photo with you? Huh? Photo? <laughs> they mistook your outfit for a cosplay costume. It's like, can you say that cosplay costume? Because the cos is costume, so it's like costume play costume. Feels weird. Cosplay? Um, well, it's hard to explain. Basically, they're complimenting on how you look. Why not take a photo with them? I... I'm sure this is another first for you. Do it. Yes, if you don't mind. I'd like to take a picture with you at the Red House. How about the lady with the white hair? Yes, yes. Such a wonderful cosplay. It'd be a shame if we didn't have a proper backdrop. Well then, we're going to go check out the place first. See, that, that I'm, I disagree with. It's very much that case of like, like, do you want a photo with us? Like, oh yeah, go on then. I'm, I'm understanding like some cosplayers don't like that. Like, that's fine. But the idea of like, right, we'll go have that photo over here. Just go across the road. Just go do this. Like, hmm. That's a bit much. It's like it's taking time out of your day to go to a location just for a photo. It's like, hmm, are we getting paid for this? That'd be a bit different, but I doubt we are. Please take a photo with us. All right. That's it. I'll take the photo for you. Oh my. All right, ready? Wonder if the... Still strange how the photo's moving. Like, she's not in the middle, but the two guys are. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you at a cosplay event somewhere. <laughs> That's a pretty good photo. These people... They're all nice. You mean Zimending? Yeah, I love this town. And the people here. My friends. And the ghosts. Family. Work. Life. When I think about it, they're all connected to this place. That's why... I'm willing to give everything to protect it. Triple Dot. I will... Also do my best to protect your world. Didi. Thank you. Hearing you say that... Feel like we can win. It was fun being able to go out with you today. Next time, let's try a different place to eat. Okay. Hello? Ah, Mistress Bo Yin. What can I do for you? Exit number six. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. Calling me all the way to exit number six. I wonder what Mr. Bo Yin wants. Number six? What's exit number six? <laughs> it's very much like, uh, I'm assuming it's one of the MRTs. The Brits. Like, what, it's just there? But this is exit number six? Okay. Works. Has that always said, like, to exit number six? I, I, I just call this area Zim ending. Anyway. Sorry to keep you waiting, Bowian. Uh, Miss Yumo. Apologies. I know you're busy. Not at all. Look, there, there, like, there, there, there's, there's, there's more Leviada images. It's just like, I, I'd like to see, like, a gallery of them. Hm. Uh, not at all. It's fine. So, what do you need from me? Also, does that game exist with the animals? Because that'd be cool to play. 
just for a bit of a laugh. Egg dog, muscle beluga, slender cat, magic squirrel. Anyway, nothing urgent. I heard you went out with Didi. Yeah, I figured she was bored being alone in the store. So I suggested we chat outside. Seemed like she enjoyed him, bubble milk tea. Since it doesn't look like she hates sweets, maybe I'll take her to eat some cake next time. <laughs> you must have had a lot of fun. Miss Yumo, I'd like to express my thanks. Hmm? You want to thank me? Yes. Dee Dee, she doesn't, d does not know of the enjoyment girls her age should normally experience. Bowian, have you known Dee Dee for long? I can't say it's been long. I just know her a little better than you and the others. Her home was the site of a terrible tragedy at the hand of Van Dyck. Oh, so that's why Dee Dee... Yes, for that reason she eventually chased him here by herself. I just happened to meet her in Yusheng Ding, help her out a few times. However, regarding her past, I did not wish to pry. What I know is that she suffered much. So even if it was brief, spending time with you will be a treasured memory of hers. After the war is over, hopefully she will make more. Mr. Bowyin, please don't worry. Dee Dee and I will definitely come back together. When that happens, I'll take Dee Dee everywhere. Just to know there are fun things out there. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to that. I have high expectations of you, Miss Yumo. Oh, how lovely. Starful slash. But, with that done, we'll end this part here. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.